As we are talking about BNP, this uh, party is constrained by its distinct ideological persuasions. It is more pro-Pakistani. It is rather a communal-minded political party. It promotes the communal uh, forces in the country. And very often, it takes recourse to violence in politics. And that cannot be the uh, modus operandi of a, of a democratic political party. This is the main or major problem with the party that is BNP. Begum Khalajajia is the chairperson of the party, but uh, she has already been convicted and she is also facing trial in the court on certain specific charges and for quite a long time she has been suffering from multi-organic complications and uh, at the present moment she is hospitalized. Begum Khaladajia, who is the sad person of the party, she is now 79 years old. So she is convicted and she is now 79 years old. Since she is convicted uh, and uh, she is not free, she has been allowed to stay at her home on humanitarian ground by the government. But uh, she was supposed to be in the prison. Even if she is set free, it would not be possible on her part to lead the party. Next, let us come to the acting chairperson. I mean, the eldest son of Begum Khaladajia, namely Tarek Rahman, who is in self-exile in London uh, since 2008. Uh, and he is staying there. He is the acting chairperson. And I don't think that he will abdicate his position from the party. He will not do that. He will hang on. And that's why he did not even allow Mirza Fokrul Isar Alangi the party general secretary general to take oath after he is getting elected in the last general election that was held in December 2018. It is because he does not want to see that uh, some other leader should emerge uh, as a leader of the party. Then from London, he is trying to run the political party through hot we may call remote control from a far away or long distance. It is not possible in politics to run a political party uh, staying a a abroad for, for a long time. Second, he is infamous for his indulgence in corruption and for his connection with the outfits uh, and so-called religious militant groups. While the BNP Jamaat Islami, this alliance was in power during 2001 to 2006. At that time, so many incidents took place in the country, killing the prominent leaders belong to at that time to opposition, I mean, and pro-liberation pro li political leaders, they are allied uh, with Jamaat Islami, and a as well as this BNP is also promoting the anti-liberation forces, the communal forces, and the so-called Islamic militant groups. So the image of Tariq Rahman is very very negative and I don't think that well as a leader he'll be able to a, any position uh, in politics and furthermore he is the acting chairperson of BNP and he's also convicted you know for so many years he was charged with 
different cases he was tried in absentia and he was also sentenced to uh, i mean imprisonment though he is not in the uh, in the prison in the jail because uh, he had left the country uh, earlier before the trial he if he is a real politician or political leader of the party then why should not he come to bangladesh and face all this ordeal because in politics there are challenges there are difficulties and a leader is to face but he is staying abroad he is not coming to bangladesh and take the leadership of the party so this is what we may term this kind of proxy leadership will not work in in politics the other leaders of bnp they are quite old and uh, in a sense exhausted some of them are uh, suffering from serious diseases so the senior leaders uh, they would not be able to lead the political party nor they have that kind of image among the people